Uh, welcome back as promised uh, this is the second in uh, little videos I was doing on uh, cormorants and this is my other favorite this is the other one I like to use it's a very plain looking cormorant um, again very good on tough days um, I, I like it on the big matches uh, when thing goes, things go hard um, it's just a plain what I would call a plain standard cormorant again a very easy one to tie um, uh, and, and hugely successful. So the thread for this one is uh, UTC uh, red uh, uh, number 70 uh, hook B175 size 10 uh, let's just get cracking with this one so there's not a lot to it this fly as I say it's a very very easy flight to tie um, just catch on your thread there the rib for this one is going to be a bit of medium silver wire just take ourselves a nice little length of medium silver wire. Tons of this stuff. Old Steve Parton stuff. It's, uh, yeah, loads of it hanging around still. Right. Catch it in again at the top of the hook there and work your way down. Just keeps the taper of the body nice and equal all the way down. And just take that down to near where the bend of the hook starts. That's fine there. Body for this. Same with most cormorants is your peacock hull. Okay, and uh, as I said before, you can buy this in packets already uh, taken off the quill, or you can use them straight off the quill. I happen to have a load of quills hanging around here, so great. So that's one taken off there, one peacock hull taken off there. I'm just going to catch that in at the back of the hook, like so. Bring my tying thread all the way forward. Just shy of the eye there. And then start to wrap the body. Nice and just get that silver thread out of the way of it there. Nice touch and turns all the way up. If, you, if you're breaking this stuff regularly when you're using it, there's a few things that could be you could be doing wrong uh, one you can as you're coming round you can often catch this hook point here and that will snap that uh, two you can be trying to wrap it too tightly um, this does get weaker if you try if you use the dyed stuff if it goes through the dyeing process I think it's the heat of the dye uh, it does weaken it and it's the acids that they use it does weaken it a bit so just be very careful with it this stuff is this is fairly robust because this is straight off the quill um, I like this like this there we go and just bring that up plenty of room at the eye there again just catch that in like so okay next step you're just going to bring this silver rib up and look, the silver rib shows through a little bit on the fly but really it just secures the the, the peacock hill gives it a little bit of security you could use fluorocarbon or something like that for the same effect but just bring that silver rib up Bring it up the opposite way against the grain of the, how I've tied the hurl in. Bring that up to the head, catch that in, secure. Like so. Old pair of scissors. Trim the wire off. Uh, and then the wing again, as before, uh, black marabou. Um, just a reasonable pinch of black marabou. The wing doesn't want to be too huge on these. You don't want to make them too big. But as a, they are a mini lure, but they're, they're the mini. That, that's that's yeah. They are exactly that a mini lure. Don't be tempted to overdress these things, um, and they'll, they won't do what they're meant to do. These little flies just they just work well when the fish have seen a lot. They work really well when the fish have seen a lot. And it's because they're not too much of them. They're not. They're not too colourful, not too bright. Yeah. And they will pick you up bonus fish. So just trim that off. I'm going to pop that in behind the head there and catch that in. Like so. And then just form a nice head with your red thread. So for the build it up a little bit, just give you that nice red head on it, and then whip finish. Like 
like that. Trim off your thread. And again, you're going to pinch this. Always pinch your marabou, never cut it. You get that nice um, raggedy edge then. So for me, it's about, sorry, from this side, um, you want to be pinching it somewhere about here where the, the curve of the hook starts so that you don't want this wing any longer than the curve of the hook, okay? Otherwise, it just it defeats the object. It's a small little attractor pattern, okay? It's just a little mirror. So just pinch in there. And then with your other fingers, just tear that off. And you end up with that lovely raggedy effect. And that is your cormorant. Let's just take a little bit off there. Little drop of varnishing up there. Just to secure it all. Nice, easy fly to tie. Massively successful. Works everywhere, all the way through the year. It's not. Uh, it's not one of those summer or autumn or spring patterns. It will always work. It's a great little lure. This is great little fly. And on those really tough days and really get you out of jail. There we go. Cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, click subscribe, click like, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. So